My client has $2 million he'd like to deploy in the Cleveland market. Patrick from Texas, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. And this show, man, I like this show quite a bit. This is one of my favorite shows to do with you guys because this is where I work with you one on one. And uh, my client, Patrick, I'm, I'm kind of excited to begin this relationship with him. Uh, Pat, you have $2 million you'd like to deploy in the Cleveland market. And, you know, to be honest with you guys, like doing the show and just selling as many rental properties as I have, uh, you'd be like, $2 million sounds like a lot of money, um, and it is a decent chunk of money. You know, it's, it's nice as a broker to get to work with a client who's high net worth like that, has a lot of money they want to deploy. But what I want to make sure you guys are aware is, you know, pretty much all day, every day, I get people sending me emails like, I want to spend this amount of money. I want to spend this amount of money. I want to buy 50 properties. I want to buy 100 properties. And it's all like, nah, you know, until you actually make some real actionable steps me as a broker or other brokers, you know, it's it's all just talk. It's all smoke and mirrors. We're not really that impressed. Um, so that's just food for thought for all of you guys out there who, you know, you have grandiose dreams. You want to build these big portfolios. I get it, man. It's rental property investing. We don't buy, we don't go into the rental game with the idea to buy one property. So you don't want to fluff stuff if you can't actually back it up. My dude, Patrick, though, he did back it up because he committed to me. What he did is he took advantage of some buy one, get one sales we were having on some of our MLS search and analysis products. We periodically run those. A lot of times you'll see me run them on holidays, things of that nature. So if you're not actually subscribe to our mailing list our email list you want to definitely do that how to do so is in the show notes below or you can go to holtonwise.com and subscribe and every single day we email you an episode of the investment properties for sale show at 1 p.m and then sometimes we'll send you some of these mls search and analysis shows and sometimes we'll send you some promo deals like buy one get one free deals and that's what patrick did so what patrick did he committed to me we are doing a total of six properties for you i'm going to do two of them in this video here and then after that me and you are going to work together to do another four um, i'd like to get some of your feedback after i give you this particular video so i know what you'd like me to do on the following videos when we look at the next four properties that guys that shows to me that patrick is a serious investor okay he's got two million dollars but he's putting his money where his mouth is he wants to buy two million dollars worth of real estate you got to start somewhere and he committed to me he committed to purchasing six analysis products so now i can go to work for him because i know he's not some dude just you know fucking talking shit right he's actually down to purchase some properties so now he gets my full devotion and what i did on this particular video pat i got two two properties that uh, fit one of your needs right because <clears throat> you know we're going to be doing six of these so you know we might be going a different direction the next show but some of the things that you were interested in one of the main things you were interested in is you're interested in properties that were distressed or had under market rent rolls. So that's what I really honed in. And you are also willing to do B class, C class, or D class. So what I wanted to hone in was some distressed stuff that I thought was pretty nice. And the first property that I want to do with you is going to be 3401. Dash 3403 West 98th Street, Cleveland, Ohio 44102. This has been on the market for a very long time, 126 days. That is a very long time, and they've listed it at $62,000. We're going to be using that to our advantage to try to get the price down. This is more or less a uh, low C class area, right? It's not, it's not the greatest area. 
But so it's it's you know high D low C. I, I I would probably say it's more or less a C C minus or so. But we're kind of splitting hairs in between the two. What you're going to deal with in an area like this. You know, you're going to deal with some tenants that are going to give you problems. Like, it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to face, like, a lot of, like, college degree tenant base, stuff like that. You know, it's it's lower income, folks. Um, but the property is going to do very well for you from a return standpoint. And we can get it for a price that's cheaper than I think it should be because the tenants are currently paying under market rent which is what you really wanted to target. So what do we got going on here? Currently, right now, each of these tenants is paying $600 a month. So that's going to bring in $1,200 a month or $14,400 a year. And each unit is three beds, one bath. Now this is key. This is the big thing here too. Looking at this layout, okay? What this is, this is a side-by-side -side duplex. And anybody who watches my content knows that the Cleveland market, we have a huge supply, just a very big, huge supply of duplexes in the area. Very, very common. And what you typically see is up-down duplexes. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with an up-down duplex, but we have a much smaller inventory of side-by-side -side duplexes like this. And if you ever have the opportunity to buy one or the other, you always, always, always want to go with the side-by-side -side duplex. We, we can deal with the up-downs, and there's just a ton of them in the market, and that is the market norm. But what an up-down is going to going to have that a side-by-side -side isn't going to make you deal with as much is going to be turnover, right? You got people above or below each other. So constant noise turnover, the tenants, they do tend to argue, and this can lead to tenants getting frustrated and moving out prematurely. We want to limit our turnover as much as humanly possible. You know, this is CD class multifamily investing. People messing up the properties on the way out, that's part of the game. That's part of the business, right? Patrick, you said you got a fairly high risk tolerance, so... You know, these are things that you're signing up for when you're trying to get properties like this that are going to rent for these amounts and sell for these cheap prices, okay? That's part of the game. But if we could ever reduce or limit our turnover, we want to take actionable steps to do so. And one of those steps is getting a side-by-side -side because nobody's above or below you. So as far as what we should do from here, because I love side-by-sides, but why is the property not selling, right? They listed it for $62,000 and it's been on the market for 126 days. That's a fairly decent price and... Even though the, the current rents, I've already said they're under market, which is nice for us, but it still kicks off a fairly good return. Why hasn't this particular property sold? Well, number one, the particular agent, right? Uh, the majority of agents in the Cleveland market, they do this, guys, and, th and this is why you pay the money to work with us. They are not used to dealing with rental property investments, right? They're used to dealing with owner occupants, and people want to get in. They want to see the inside of the unit. And the, and the way this particular agent was doing their showings, they were having the actual seller themselves meet with potential buyers to go to the property, tour the properties. I'm sure tenants like this, they're, they're giving them shit. It's just a whole nightmare. It's a whole mess, right? The property doesn't show that well. You know, you've seen the pictures. Nothing looks really great. So below market rents, the, the showing situation, it's very, very difficult. I'm sure the tenants are fighting them every step of the way. You get a lot of people trying to schedule showings and the buyer's flake. You, you add that in conjunction with the fact that there's a buyer who then has to reach out to their buyer's agent, who then has to reach out to the seller's agent, who then has to reach out to the seller, who then has to reach out to the tenants to schedule a showing, and then the buyer flakes and, and none of it happens. It's just a whole fucking nightmare. It's a whole mess. And that's how you can get properties like this that sit on the market. But that's where I come in. We could find nice diamonds in the rough and we could take advantage of that. So because it's been on the market so long, they're not having success. And I know we can get those rents up. Maybe a lot of people don't necessarily know that. Perhaps the listing agent doesn't know that because maybe that listing agent deals with a lot of owner occupied stuff and maybe a lot of the the folks that are trying to buy this property maybe their buyers agents don't necessarily know that because of all that we're going to take advantage of that pat we're going to take advantage of that we're going to take advantage of the fact that you got cash you got a lot of money you can make it very easy for them cosmetically we don't really care all that much that it's it's messy and me and you we're not trying to shuffle our way in there to look around because you know 
look, man, it's it's a it's a unit with a tenant. We've seen the pictures. There's really not all that much that we don't know going in. We know for a fact that when these tenants move out, we're gonna have to spend a few grand redoing the units. That, that's just the name of the game. That's how it rolls. So because of all of that, I think we're gonna be able to get this property at a nice little discount off the list price. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get this property for you for a price of fifty-five thousand dollars. So if we pick this up at fifty-five thousand dollars, we bring in the current the current rent's twelve hundred a month. What will that look like? Well, we're going to be spending 60 bones a month on repairs and maintenance, vacancy and not payment of rent, and capital expenditures. Capital expenditures, man, those are the big stuff, right? Roof. They last 30 years. Big-ass duplex like this is probably like an $8,000 roof. Furnaces. Going to have two of them. They last about 30 years. They cost about $3,000 to replace. Hot water tanks. We're going to have two of those. They are going to last approximately 15 years and it costs $1,000 to replace. I guarantee you none of that stuff is new. I, it shouldn't be new when we do your inspection because you're going to want to make this offer contingent on inspection. The home inspector is probably going to tell you the stuff's past. It's useful life. We're very close to it. I highly doubt based on looking at the photos, that there's going to be a lot of new stuff in there. So that's what we're saving up for, right? You replace one of those big ticket items, and then you're 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 budgeting that 60 bucks a month towards the next time. So you do a roof, right? You're going to be budgeting that. You're not going to have to spend money on the roof for another 30 years, but you've still got a budget because you know in 30 years you'll have to do it again. Taxes, 122 a month. Insurance, 80 bucks a month. Anybody who doesn't already know, I also own a farmer's franchise. So in the show notes below, we got the opportunity for you to get an actual bid on this property or any other properties anyone else out there watching this might have. We will work to lower your bid. Uh, but it should be approximately 80 for this one. Water and sewer should run you 150. Lawn care will be 44. We cut grass 16 to 18 times a year here, so the total cost is 528 for the year. Divide that out annually. The monthly rate is going to be 44 a month, and then of course PM is 120. So you're bringing in 1200. I anticipate on average you should be spending 696 to operate this. Now, you know some years might be a little leaner than this, right? We got semi high risk tenant base here, so they may or may not, you know, trash stuff. We may deal with evictions, that kind of shit. That's part of the game. But more or less, if you look at this property, properties like this over your whole portfolio. Should anticipate spending approximately six ninety seven a month, which would bring you an NOI five oh four a month or six thousand forty six a year. If you finance this thing, I know you got cash, but let's just say you were gonna finance it. Um, if you wanted to finance it, you'd only have to put down thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Your mortgage would be small, one ninety six. After you pay off that mortgage, you'd be bringing home an average of three oh eight a month, which would position this at a twenty six point nine percent cash on cash return. All looks good. But remember, few things that are not accounted for in this chart. Number one, I keep saying we can increase the rents. How much can we increase those rents? Well, because it's side by side and it's three beds, one bath, we should be able to get between $750 and $800 a month in rent. I would like to do that under the Section 8 program. Reason being, Tenant base is shaky a little bit over here, right? You know, people don't pay rent. They lose a job. They don't have any savings. We got a victim. Stuff like that, right? So I would like to reduce your turnovers as much as possible. A, we did that already by getting a nice layout, right? You're in a semi-high-risk neighborhood, so you got a house with the very best layout. Remember, there's nothing wrong necessarily with up-downs, but side-by-sides are better. So we have that going for us. And then to... To reduce our risks even more, we go with Section 8 because the government's guaranteeing the majority of that rent. So we do that. We can get those rents up to $750, $800 a month. Of course, it's not going to be free, though, right? You don't just go from $600 to $800 just like that. I would keep these folks in there as long as possible at the current rates because you're making money on the property. No sense rushing in to remove an income stream. But there is going to be natural turnover. Maybe it's a year from now. Maybe it's two years from now. Maybe it's six months from now. I don't know. But at some point, someone's going to move out. And you're going to have to pony up probably five or $6,000 per unit. Big units like that. They didn't look too nice. To be able to get us Section 8 approved and all done out to the max, looking beautiful, so we can hit you with those top of the market rents, 750, 800 bucks. But that's how I would do this particular property. If that makes sense for you, Pat, of course, you'll send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we will move forward putting in that offer. We'll set you up with home inspectors, or we could bring in any other home inspector you have, and we will work on your behalf to try to pick this up. And again, 
the price I'd like to target this for you is that fifty-five thousand. I, I didn't list this property, right? It's listed by a Remax agent, so I don't know for sure if uh, we can get it done for you for fifty-five. It would still be a halfway decent deal at list price, but I think based on the fact it's been on the market for this long, I think we stand a good chance. Uh, quickly, we're going to go to a, a commercial break, and then we're going to get into the second property I've got for you. Over fifty percent of those living in the Greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. All right, Pat, welcome back, my dude. All right. Now, the second property, okay? It's another one been on the market a long time. 2224 two, four, Forestdale Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Currently listed at 67,900. Been on the market forever, 214 days. And I have a lot of familiarity with this particular property. Now, I analyzed this property three, maybe four months ago for another client. It was listed at 74900 Now, it's got another tenant in there paying dramatically less than they should be paying, so I thought it made a lot of sense for you. Plus, it's a C-class neighborhood. You're interested in C-class. I would say this is a little bit nicer neighborhood than the previous property we just talked about. Um, but you're going to get a relatively similar experience. But I would say, all things considered, this is definitely in a better neighborhood. But not not by much, right? We're splitting hairs, okay? When I analyzed this property last, it was listed at 74900 And I was like, damn, dude, that is a great deal. We got to go and list price because there's going to be multiple offers on this particular property. But here it is. Several months later, it's, the price has been reduced $7,000. We're now 214 days on the market. What the hell happened? Did I screw it up? No, I didn't screw it up. Uh, we made our offer. It was a very strong offer. And the sellers actually at that time, they had multiple offers and they went with another offer. Then the property was off the market for quite a while. And then eventually that fell out of contract. It came back on the market. Now it's been on the market for such a long time. I, I think other people got nervous. My guy, he had moved on, right? At this point, he's moved on to other stuff. He's no longer interested, so that's when they reduced the price. Um, so now I'm bringing it back around, and I think it's going to make a lot of sense for you. So what I want to do now is I want to take you to the footage for my original analysis. Boom. Here it is. I know it doesn't... Uh, look beautiful like you know don't think i don't notice that there's like a boarded up window there there uh driveway is not not too hot i see that that's a little you know broken but this is what c-class investing can look like sometime guys uh it's not the end of the world uh but you know to hit these cash flow numbers that's some stuff you're going to see. And Cleveland itself doesn't have a point of sale, so that driveway is probably not going to matter the tenants are still going to rent the property they don't typically uh factor that kind of stuff in as long as the interior of the house is nice but if we were looking at like euclid garfield heights uh cleveland heights right some of those suburbs in the cleveland market that have point of sale inspections this would be something to look at because that'd be an extra ten thousand dollar expense you'd need to pencil in but we're not gonna have to worry about that here because it's in cleveland proper and uh, there are no point of sales uh to worry about for everybody that doesn't know what a point of sale inspection is, in certain cities in the Cleveland market, the city has to come in and they inspect uh, the home and they issue violations. And you can't transfer title on the property until the violations are cleared or the buyer puts up escrow money and agrees to assume them. Then the city only gives the buyer a certain amount of time after it closes to fix them. Not the case here in the Cleveland market. So looking at this property on the outside, nothing super hot, nothing great. It's a little rough looking, but I target it for you because of the numbers. 224, 2224 Forestdale. So three twos and a four Forestdale. Cleveland 44109. That's the old Brooklyn neighborhood. We've got hundreds of duplexes in this neighborhood. I love it. This is the anticipated rent roll. One unit's 1-1. One, one. The other unit's 3-1. Rent 600, 800. So 14 a month or 16,800 a year. Now, you got to do a little bit of work to get to it. So let's go to the photos. Let me show you what's going on. Not an extreme amount of work, but a little bit of work. 
This is the downstairs unit. This is your unit that's totally empty right now, and they kicked ass on this renovation. I love it. They did the agreeable gray paint, right? This is the kind of paint that we use. They did the, the trim. That's the kind of trim we would do. The only thing they did different is they carpeted the property. Um, I would have pulled the carpet and refinished the hardwoods because that'll save you money on your, your turnovers because... You know, this is a lighter carpet. This carpet's probably only lasted one tenant. Uh, but there's no sense for you to worry about that now. It's already fresh. It's already done. They've already paid for it. Uh, just note that on your next turnover, you'll want to pull that carpet, and we'll refinish the hardwoods to harden your unit, save you money uh, going forward. But everything else that they did in this unit is just freaking beautiful, dude. Like, this is great. It's kind of hard to see based on the photo that the agent uh, took, which, by the way, just so you know, this is not listed by me, right? This is listed by another agent. That's, that's the point of the show. I find properties that I think fit you uh, based on what's out there and what your goals are. This is listed. I wrote it down. Uh, realtor out of Russell Real Estate, right? And again, the price seventy four nine. But if you just sneak in here, man, look at this bathroom. Nice floor. That looks like a brand new toilet. Beautiful looking bath. So this is just some nice high quality stuff, okay? All right, just just super nice unit. Uh, I like the vinyl flooring in the kitchen, as you'll see right there. Right here, okay, this is uh, where you hook up your laundry equipment so the tenant doesn't even have to go in the basement for laundry. That's a big plus. Over in the corner, you can see the cabinetry. It's looking good, right? Nice new cabinets. Those look like shaker cabinets. Uh, not <clears throat> That doesn't uh, appear to be like a stone, but that's like a pretty high, like a high-end cheap finish, I guess you can call it, from like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. Uh, so you don't always have to go with like a super expensive stone in the C-Class. This is like a very adequate, very nice kitchen. This kitchen will stand out amongst your competition in a C-Class neighborhood. So this is just a beautiful unit, beautiful kitchen, okay? Uh, beautiful bath, man. Kitchens and baths, guys. That's what sells houses. That's, what's, that's what rents houses, man. Look, this is super modern. This is super nice. Like, I really, really like that. Uh, that that's very nice. You're not going to have tenants complaining about that, okay? This is just... Uh, everything is, is looking great here, okay? This is uh, um, the other bathroom, okay? Also looking really, really good, all right? And then this is just some shit in the yard. So that unit downstairs, okay? It's 600 bucks a month is what I believe we could rent that for. The reason uh, that that's still low is because it's only a one-bedroom, but that is freaking nice. It's like the nicest one-bedroom. We could probably even try 650 but conservatively, I wanted to give you 6 Now, the upstairs is a messed-up situation. They totally renovated that one bathroom, but the, the, the listing agent, she didn't say uh, much about anything other than that bathroom. I'll read you exactly what she wrote. Great investment property or owner occupied with rental income. Bottom unit is fully updated from top to bottom. Home features all new carpet and flooring throughout. Brand new neutral paint. Spacious kitchen. Completely updated with bright white cabinets. Large remodeled bath on each floor. One bedroom on main floor. Three bedroom upstairs. Plenty of space in bedrooms and closet space. Has a covered front porch on both floors. Uh, so with her lack of what she said about the upstairs unit, I'm guessing that the kitchen isn't renovated. So... Currently, right now, okay, I don't know like what they were thinking, but they have a tenant in that upstairs unit paying three hundred bucks a month. And usually, when I do these, um, I like to lay the numbers out, like with you guys leaving the existing tenants in, and we slowly raise their rent. But in this case, can't do that because that's just uh, fucking ridiculous, right? That's stupid. Uh, that unit. If you make that unit look like the downstairs unit, you'll rent that for 800 bucks a month. So we can't leave that tenant in there at 300. So after you buy this, you got to just issue them a notation saying, "Hey man, we're going to, you know, increase your rent to 800." And at that point the tenant could either bail uh, or they could stay. I would assume they probably can't stay if they're used to paying 300. Don't know where they would go. Maybe it's like a family friend situation with this owner. I don't know, but it, it would be disingenuous for me to tell you you could just Take a guy who's paying 300 tell him he's got to pay 8 and, and assume he won't move out. He probably will move out. He'll probably go live with a family or something. I don't know. So assuming that guy moves out, after you renovate that unit, uh, you should be able to get eight, 800 bucks for that unit because it's a three-bedroom. Now, as far as cost goes, I have uh, just penciled in a $10,000 renovation budget for you to get you uh, to uh, having that unit ready to go. Now, 
They repainted it, and they did the carpet. But I think you're probably going to have to replace the carpet anyway because, you know, pretty much light carpet like that. It's one tenant, and then you got to get it out. So we'll refinish those hardwoods. Maybe we have to repaint the walls again. Maybe we don't. They already did the bathroom, which is awesome, but they didn't say anything about that kitchen. So by her omitting that uh, kitchen from the description, I would presume it's a really old kitchen. So $10,000 should cover, like, a total turn and give you a high-end kitchen and give you the ability uh, to rent it for 800 So that would allow you to bring in 14 a month. So, um, doing that, of course, you're not going to make fourteen hundred a month. You got your expenses. So let's quickly run through those: repairs and maintenance. You know, we're going to pencil in seventy a month, and that's not like you're spending seventy every single month. Okay, that is like nothing, nothing, nothing. Then you have a five hundred dollar repair, or nothing, nothing, nothing. Then we have like a two thousand dollar turnover, right? But you got to you got to factor that stuff in. You can't just spend that money. You got to keep that money safe because eventually you're going to have these turnovers. Uh, and you're going to have to make these repairs. And speaking of those turnovers, you have vacancy and non-payment of rent. Just because tenants are supposed to pay $1,400 a month doesn't mean you're going to get $1,400 a month in income every month. So you got to factor in about $70 a month, budget that. So that's $840 a year for that. Okay? Eventually, you're going to have tenants not going to pay. We're going to have to evict their ass. Eventually, you're going to have some vacancies. You're going to have to wait to get uh, the unit renovated, uh, turned over, and uh, wait for my team to lease it out to another person. So we're going to factor in. We're we're saving 840 a year for those repairs. We're saving 840 a year uh, for that vacancy and that non-pay period. So when those things occur, you're prepared. Now, capital expenditures, right? <clears throat> We're also going to save 70 a month or 840 a year for that. Now, I don't really have much information on the big ticket items here. They weren't able to provide that to us. But that's like items like your roof, your furnaces, your hot water tanks, okay? Like your roof on a house like this, this is probably like, uh, I would say like a six, maybe a $7,000 roof. Shingle roofs here in Cleveland, they're going to last about 30 years. Every 30 years, you're going to have to spend six, seven grand. That's just, that's, it's how it's going to be, right? So if you ask the seller, like, hey, how, how's the roof? And the seller gives you uh, the answer, I get this all the time. Like, oh, how old? I'll say, how old is the roof? And the seller will be like, oh, the roof's good. What the fuck does that mean? That doesn't mean anything, okay? A roof is good. That means it doesn't leak, okay? If it's five years old, it's good. If it's 26 years old, it's good. But if it's 26 years old, it's about to be dead done. I got to spend six grand in four years versus the same good roof that's only five years old. And I don't have to worry about it for another 25 years. So uh, when we do a home inspection, we can have the home inspector look and actually give you uh, a closer idea of how old it is. But just so you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to save for that. We're going to understand that these particular big ticket items have a limited expectancy of life and you have to pay to replace them same thing with your furnaces man you got two furnaces right it's going to cost you about three grand to replace those uh furnaces last about the same as roofs like about 30 years sometimes 40 years i mean i've seen older furnaces um i've seen furnaces outlast roofs by a lot but you know just to be fair let's call it about 30 years hot water tanks uh those are going to last you about 15 years but they're cheap they're only a thousand dollars to replace and you should have two hot water tanks as well so that's your capital expenditures, so we're going to account for that. We're going to save 840 a year for that. And then you got your taxes. The annual property taxes of this property are 542 That's very, very low. That's only 45 a month. Uh, if you were to buy this at 75000 just so you know, the county would most likely reappraise the property at $75,000, and, and those should at the very least double. I would uh, assume they'll probably end up around like twelve, thirteen hundred a year, uh, possibly even higher. Just so you know, insurance we can insure it for eighty bucks a month. My company, we have an insurance company uh, in the show notes below. It's called the Hogue Insurance Agency. You go ahead and click that, and uh, you can get a quote for how much we would insure uh, your properties. This one, it, we should be able to find you a nice, cheap landlord policy for about eighty bucks a month. Anybody else who's watching, if you have rental properties, go ahead and click that. Get yourself a a quote. We don't do just Ohio. We do a bunch of states, and uh, you know we're landlord insurance guys. We don't worry about home home homeowners, owner occupants, or whatever. You know, our whole thing is we scour the market looking at other third-party providers, and we find you guys the cheapest landlord policies. That's what we do there. Uh, water sewer, hardest thing in the world to um, <clears throat> estimate, but I think you'll be at about 150 bucks a month on average. Some of your tenants are going to spend more than that. Uh, it's 75 a unit, by the way. Some of your tenants are going to make that go up. Some will make it go down, uh, but that's... You know, I run a $50 million portfolio. I've had thousands of tenants, so that is like a reasonable uh, number to peg there. Long care, right? 
Uh, this is Cleveland. Dan, you already know this. You live here, dude. Uh, it's really, really cold in the winter, so we don't cut it in the winter, but we'll probably cut it about 16 times a year or so. Uh, we charge like 33 a cut, I believe. So if you uh, factor in the amount of cuts we'll do, it'll be 528 a year, so that averages out to 44 a month. And then lastly, the property management, the uh, amount of money you got to pay us to run the property for you should be 140 a month. So your total expenses on this sucker, 669 right? That's going to leave you. All right, you're bringing in 1400 your average expenses. Again, these are averages, man. You might have an actual experience that's a little bit different. And it won't be different, like, one way forever. Like, it could run really, really good for year one, two, three, four, and then year five and six could, you know, it could go downhill, and then it could swing back up. You know, this is a people business. There's an unlimited amount of variables at all times. So, like, don't think that, like, when I do these estimates for you, you're literally every single month going to spend 669 and you're going to bring home 731 every month. It just doesn't work that way. These are averages, right? This is a game of scale. If you get like a bunch of properties over a long period of time, this is what the data should probably average out to. Uh, but there, are, of course, will be variables, man. Uh, but <clears throat> reasonable expectation is you make in 8770 bucks a year. So if we dig deeper into this for you, dude, if you bought it at list, because you're going to have to go list, bro. This is cheap, man. Uh, we're starting to see duplexes, uh, you know, these kind of duplexes, especially that nice, you know, renovated one. Let's just check out that photo again. Right? Let's, let's look at this downstairs, you know. Let's look at this kitchen, man. I really like this kitchen. This is nice. Like, this is a good kitchen. This is probably one of the better kitchens in the old Brooklyn area. So, you know, you're starting to see a lot of this stuff creep to about, you know, close to 100K, 90, 100K, right? So, 75,000, that's a steal, man. So, you got to pay list, right? You got to bid list on this thing. 74,9, I factored in a cost of roughly 10K, and that's to boot that Yahoo paying 300 bucks a month. Get that dude out of there. We don't want that guy. It's hurting our cash flow. Uh, and then, you know, since they uh, showed us pictures of a really nice bathroom and they said they just freshly painted and carpeted everything, again, I want to toss the carpet because it's probably not going to last through the tenant. I'm hoping maybe we don't have to do all the paint, uh, but we might have to do it again. You never know. Uh, and we're definitely going to want to do some stuff to the kitchen because it doesn't sound like they did anything to the kitchen. So I think 10 for the information, you know, limited amount of information we have at this moment, I think 10 is a great estimate. So that puts you all into the sucker for 84.9. Now, the question is, man, is it going to hit your goals? And, of course, the answer is yes. That's why I picked the property for you, bro. Now, that's a cap rate of 10.3. Now, if we go deeper, right, because you want to still hit that 9% return and you want to cash flow 200 bucks a unit, okay? So your mortgage down payment, that's going to be 18725 because remember, I got lenders that will do 25% down. So that's going to leave you with a mortgage of 56175 and that mortgage payment is going to equate to 284 a month or 3408 a year. And, and quickly, I want to show you something here for everyone uh, wanting to run numbers at home, guys, okay? Homewise.com tools and resources right here mortgage calculator you guys could run these numbers yourself okay so i'll, I'll show you guys how to do it right now that mortgage amount fifty six thousand one hundred seventy five over 30 years calculate that bad boy boom right there 284.63 and if you'll see here it you know gives you the full amortization schedule it shows you the principal you're paying and the interest just so you know, just to point this out, guys, this is how real estate works. At the very beginning, okay, of your payments, it's always going to be, you know, it's fixed interest, so that's not going to change. It, it, the payment could actually change based on tax, taxes going up or down. But what's going to fluctuate is the amount of your money that's applied to your principal versus the amount of money that is applied to your interest. At the beginning, you're only paying seventy three ninety seven in principal, and it's two ten in interest. But all the way back towards the end, okay, like your last payment, $283.57 of it is going to be all principal, and you're only paying a buck in interest. The banks do that so they can make as much money possible because a lot of people, they sell the properties. They don't usually keep these properties for 30 years. So if you're smart, if you're smart, which I'm assuming you are because you're here, the fact that you're here on this show doing your research, trying to build a better life for you and your family shows me you're financially savvy. You got to hold on to these assets, guys. You hold The longer you hold on to them, it's great. I see people that freak out if they don't get their $400 a month in cash flow. Like, dude, 
if you broke even on this month, okay, if you you know you're you just broke even, you didn't get no cash flow. You still made 283 bucks, man, cuz the tenants are paying off your mortgage. That's why this stuff is so great. <laughs> right? So, play with the numbers yourselves, guys. Holdwise.com, go to the tools and resource section, check out the mortgage calculator. So, with that, I I in the chart that you're seeing on the screen now, I, I just wrote 284 just so you know, I don't I don't dick around with uh like change, right? Like it's 284, 63 is the actual payment. If 63 cents on your mortgage matters to you, <laughs> you're in the wrong business. Um, so after you pay down all of your estimated expenses and and you pay off your mortgage payment, your net cash flow after your mortgage, Dan, it should be 447 a month, which hits your goal uh, of 400, and that cash on cash return is 18. 18.67%. That's double what you were looking for, brother. And one thing, when you're doing your cash on cash return, I just want everyone to know, right? I took my NOI, the 731. You take that number, then you have to subtract your mortgage payment, okay? Your 284. So that gives you your net cash flow after mortgage. That's 447. You take that number and you divide that number by the amount of cash you had to put in the deal initially. So a lot of times that would be 447. Uh, well, it's the yearly amount, so that would be five thousand three hundred sixty two and you would divide that by your down payment which would be eighteen thousand seven hundred twenty five but don't make the mistake of doing that here because you'll get a dramatically skewed number because remember it wasn't just eighteen thousand seven twenty five that was our mortgage down payment on top of that i have factored in an additional ten thousand that is going to need to come up at the very beginning doesn't have to happen the day you buy the property right but we got to boot that tenant out to get these numbers so like within the first like four or five months of you owning this property i anticipate you spending that entire 10k so i did 5362 divided by 28725 and that's how i got my cash on cash return of 18.67 percent all right pat so with this particular property since the price is is much lower you know i still think we want to make a strong offer because it makes sense. But at this point, I think the seller's got some fatigue, and I, I feel like we have some deviation. So perhaps I'd like to maybe try to target this for you for a price of $65,000. Doing that, as you see from the, the previous footage, you know, at the current list price, we were projecting out like an 18 or so percent cash on cash return. We picked this thing up for $65,000. I mean, you could do the numbers. I mean, we're going to be well over 20% cash on cash return if you finance it. And things go well so that's how i think we should approach this one so if you'd like to buy the forestdale property or if you'd like to buy the one on west 98th or even better if you'd like to buy them both just shoot us an email sales at holtonwise.com you'll get to work with me and my personal team of assistants as your buyer's agents we are going to work exclusively for you i have nothing to do with either of the sellers of these properties never met them never talked to them only working for you to get you the best possible deal on both of these properties. So let us know. And then, of course, I want your feedback after this. We got four more properties for you that you've already paid for for us to do. So give me some feedback on how you feel about this particular video and what I've targeted for you. I know you're also interested in the North Randall and uh, Euclid areas that are both near Amazon Fulfillment Centers. You are also open to some of the stuff in the Metro Health area, which it's not exactly right next to Metro Health, but just so you know, the experience you're going to get for the West 98th property, that's, that's very, very similar to the Metro Health neighborhood. And then I would consider this Forestdale property just a small step above. So let me know if you want to switch gears slightly on the next video for the next four properties. We'll see how things pan out. But for now, that's all I've got for you. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied.
Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.